Hello everyone, it is Jacob. In this video, I've prepared some data for the last video that I've made about the strategy that, that I use during the entire season to farm my currencies. I, I actually have data from two people, from me and from one another like player that I'm playing with. So we will have two sets of data with two like Similar strategies, he's not use, using exactly mine that I described in the last video, but he uses pretty much like more quantity, but the results are really similar. In the beginning of the video, I will show you a clip with uh, one map run with a few tips on how to like make it possible to, for example, finish some encounters and how you can actually save some time doing cube of rapacity that is really important tip and will save you a lot of time if you are running cube in deep space so yeah with that said let's check the video just got a machines card here if you get this one got a little tip for you which Dritek told me like few minutes ago you can swap the machine's compass, you don't need it for that card because that, that mechanic is guaranteed. And instead of that, since there will be the automaton spar uh, uh, god of machines and counter mechanical boxer will be spawning. And that one is a bit tankier, so when you have a source of explode, you can actually use dark search to explode that, that thing up. Because most of the times before, <clears throat> I struggle with killing it and it, it drops a lot of loot so if you can guarantee killing it before it despawns with the wave <clears throat> it's always good to take so I'm trying this for the first time hopefully I will not fail the machine we'll see so Leave the mist until you find at least one ball. A lightning ball, I mean. Not yet. Ooh, nice. <laughs> this was also in my plan. <clears throat> now I just want to find the machines and loot after. So I, I spawned one wave. Yeah, the mechanical boxer just like exploded. Nice, I spawned two waves here. Let's see if I can do the third one as well. Nice, I killed the third one as well. Nothing special dropped, but I at least were a was able to kill it. And I won't be able to kill the last one because I don't have enough dark search for that. But yeah, so the boxers are, are dying. That's nice to see actually. Oh, it died. Awesome. A powerful opponent. <laughs> Shame that they're a little <coughs> Okay. Not yet. So that is a way of killing the mechanical boxers. Let's finish them up here. So this was pretty good example of <coughs> the map with the special mechanics. And for the boss. I also have a few tips on the cube, like if you want to save time and you eventually find the... you hit this cube of craving, you can greet early and if that greet succeeds, like let's try it here, you can greet right now, if it succeeds, nice, you can hit close and you can keep coveting the rest of the cube 
sometimes uh, the cover tin will stop. It, if that's if that happens to you, you can just hit escape and open the cube again and keep covet in. And in the end, everything you coveted will be doubled, so you can claim that. If it fails, you save a lot of time. If you have a lot of like desired crystals left, you can save a lot of time doing this. I will leave you a few clips after this one, just so you can check that it actually works, even multiple times. So yeah, that, that would be my tips. Okay, so those were the tips. Uh, I will leave a few clips at the end of the video with like a few drops from Might and Machines and with the like how the cube rolling works. So I will leave that in the end of the video. And now let's get into the data. <clears throat> right here on the screen, you can see that so far in this season, I've made like almost 90k FEs from uh, from Trade House. And for the data in this strategy, I've been running the version with uh, God of Machines, which I mentioned in the last video that you can swap might to machines. So I was running this with my Yuga. I was running it with on time mark 8.3 deep space. Every single map was on deep space. This is the set of maps and compasses that I've prepared for it. So this is how I run it. I run 50 maps and let's get into the data. There is a strategy here on the picture on the right side. Deep, deep space compasses. Some people were asking what is DS and what is non-DS. DS is deep space. Non-DS mean, means, means near space. So for deep space, these compasses just swap might for machines and non-deep space the same, just swap might for machines and use either of the uh, more monster compasses basically. For deep space I'm using the quantity compass which is the best there. For possible swap compasses depending on what chaos cards you loot you, you find in your uh, atlas. Uh, if you find uh, a machine chaos card <coughs> Uh, you can actually swap the machine compass for search compass because during the machine you will be encountering uh, boxers. I've mentioned that in the previous clip. Uh, if you find nightmare or, or cube and you want to run that, you can swap either of those compasses with uh, compasses for more monsters. I would. Pr now I would prefer the rare monsters, but you can use the magic ones or the white or, or the normal ones as well. Doesn't really matter. You just want to like put more monsters onto the map. And <clears throat> if you find the if you find the cube, you can actually no. If you if you find the and if you find the FE conversion chaos card, which is like the 4% or the 11% one. Yeah, my suggestion would be swap the cube compass for the militant compass, which increases the number of like items that you drop during the map. It increases the item drop quantity, so that will let you convert more items into flame elementiums. That's how you can get like even a thousand FEs from a map. So yeah, uh, the end results after the 50 maps, I will sh I will share this spreadsheet in the description of the video. Uh, for the cube strategy, I always greet unless I check the corner slates and if it if it seems like it would it could be a good corner, I roll the cube all the way just to have a chance to get the corner, but if there is nothing special, always greet whenever you can, 
as I said in the video, you can greet early and just buy time if the greet fails. Yeah, that's how I do it. Uh, in the first like tab, it is the final results after 50 maps. So the, the total map cost it was around 4.4k and I've managed to get uh, 2.4k profit without uh, without counti counting in like 500 more FEs from items that I sold during the <coughs> during the making of this video and during farming those are the items that I actually farmed during this like test so yeah everything that is on the sheet is coming from the test everything else I just stored in my storage so these are pure numbers from this test so the market the the rows that are marked green are the items that I consider being like the reliable source of income because you will most likely likely get them when you are doing these maps so those are the ones farmed green and if you would only count those the results are marked here so <coughs> Uh, together the reliable profit would be around 2000 and the reliable profit per hour would be around, would be around uh, 1240 and that's around 40 FE profit per map for my example the total would be around 1500 uh, per hour <coughs> with, with 2.4k total profit plus this so around 2.9k profit from the 50 maps <laughs> running the 50 maps you can change if you want you can just download this sheet and put in like your numbers if you feel like some of my prices are like different than yours I've been trying to undercut uh, the marketplace so prices should be okay at least for today but if you find like that the numbers might be wrong just download the sheet put in your numbers and you can see your, how your results could be <coughs> could look my average map duration is around two minutes if you go to you can like change it here you can go for 2.5 if you are a bit slower and it, you would still make over 1k per hour with three minutes you would make almost 1k per hour so yeah my average is two minutes my friend's uh, average is around 1.8 minute and he's making like around the same results as me also around 1.5k per hour I've counted all the items and <clears throat> all the items here are counted after I turned my fluorescent memories in and these are fluorescent memories that I got left over after turning everything in so yeah everything is in the sheet and I was doing uh, like a recap after every 10 maps so my first 10 maps can be found in this like 10 maps sheet my first 10 maps I was very lucky and I got a lot of like yeah I was pretty much very lucky I got one rain I, I got one rainbow uh, uh, chaos card <coughs> with the chests and in the first 10 maps I got I got 1500 profit just from the 10 maps including the cost of the maps so yeah the first 20 maps like the averages are here all the numbers are here uh, the averages go down over time in the end <coughs> I did not drop anything special like I did not get any special maps I did not find any other like uh, rainbow chaos cards so this test is I would consider it to be like really realistic and actually low I would expect getting more from the 50 maps but I got really unlucky I got like one flame fuel conversion uh, the flame fuel that's the purple card I got only one 
I got one rainbow chest from the first 10 maps and that's it. I did not drop anything special and I also failed 12 out of those 50 machines. Uh, so yeah, I, I felt 12 out of those 50 machines, which is almost 25% loss just from the machines and the machines are the main source of income as, we, as you can see here. Uh, like sim just the divinity emblems from machines made me 850 FEs. So yeah, and I, I felt 12 of them. So those are my data and for uh, f uh, what I forgot, a cube, uh, there is a picture here of what cube talents are we using, are we running, picture of my pact spirits is here as well with uh, their effects as well, so everything is here in the sheet like max out your nightmare skill tree or talent tree as well before you attempt to run deep space yeah now for the three text data i've compiled this list from his notes those are in czech but you can translate them to english if you want i've made some like uh, notes here in english so his terra his uh, build was frost terra gemma his variation of the deck is he's swapping out the cube for a statue of war or god of war basically what it allows him to do is he runs the maps faster a bit faster uh, but it puts a pressure on you because you really want to complete your uh, statue of machines or god of machines while your war is still active which when i was trying it it was not comfortable for me because I was not able to most of the times complete the machines in time. So I swapped that for cube and got almost the same results. These results are here. Almost 1500 per hour as, as well. Uh, we are not counting his one emulating flame drop here because we are keeping those to create our own sparks. So we are not counting them in the results. Uh, uh, his maps cost uh, 4.1k uh, in comparison to mine mine was like 300 higher because my compasses cost a bit more and that's pretty much it uh, these are some <coughs> uh, average map duration 1.5 minutes it's actually 1.8 I believe yeah I counted it somewhere uh, but total for the 50 maps was uh, 1.5 hours so yeah I should fix it here 1.1.8 minutes per map uh, and it is highly dependent on the map layout basically uh, a change mechanic compass for search or cube on the last map for mecha of mechanic chaos card yeah that i mentioned in mine he completed 49 out of the 50 machines like completing the machines is really important because those yield do a lot of currency <coughs> and complete machine during war and with nightmare lightning buff as with the might and what i mentioned you want to complete it while the war is active and really important thing is do not skip the mist rare monster which you summon by touching the portal because most of the times you will drop more than one of the eyes and those i'm selling them for almost one fe each and you can drop even five from each so in total it was 107 FEs for me <clears throat> uh, yeah these are some examples like you are getting a lot of unique items then that what we do with them with every single unique item you get you corrupt it if you get a like decent, re a decent result you sell it for profit if not you destroy it and you get the material for dream crafting uh, sometimes so you can 
So that uh, this cube of rapacity tree, same as mine, so I just copy in mine. <coughs> he spark spirits here. He has chalk, he has chalk, but he he does not have cloud gatherer. So what we've decided to do here is to not use the chalk's large passive just to simulate the cloud gutter. So this is pretty much the sa these are pretty much the same pets as mine. You can see the bonuses here. <coughs> Example of 11% convert, convert map machine result. Uh, th this is like 474 FEs from one machine. Like after you complete four waves or three waves, I'm not sure. D did not tell me, but probably four. Almost 500 FEs from one encounter. Insane, right? Uh, these are some examples of after <coughs> after he ended, he, la he made 197 uh, machine emblems, and that's because he did not fail almost any machine. He he failed one machine in comparison to me, that when I felt 12. So that's why he has more. <coughs> of these emblems uh, and <clears throat> this is his inventory after he ended and after he sold like some of the items these are the res results which are written here 6248 that's the total FEs plus sold items that's from this <clears throat> how some of his loot map uh, a loot uh, looked in a map that's he told me that this is like decent map uh, with the machine done and <clears throat> what you can also get from machines is this there is a really small chance to drop one additional piece of exclusive legendary gear of trial of the six gods this includes the chests so what he got here is he got Lone Walker's boots, which sell for over 10,000 FEs when you, when you drop them and you sell them unidentified for over 10,000 FEs and he managed to drop them twice this season. We are not counting this in the results, but we just wanted to show you that there are some uniques that you can get that are really pricey and that you can sell for a lot of profit and you have higher chance of getting those when you are on deep space because you are basically running the same amount of maps as you would be running on near space but you are getting 100% additional quantity so you, you are getting double drops so you have double chance of getting these in comparison to uh, near space basically so you are getting them more often like not the walker not, not the lone walker specifically but <coughs> unique items that you can sell for a large profit. Uh, just to show you that the items that I have marked here actually sell for the prices that I have here, I can show it to you in game right now because I stored those. As you can see here, Flame Sense 1000 for free, Netherrealm Resonance 1000 for one, those sell pretty quickly actually if you sell them if you undercut other people because other people are selling them for two flamesons are normally sold for like four if you are willing to wait overnight put them for four nobody like cares casting wedges actually went up after the last patch so those are selling for free and those are selling for free really quickly true timbers uh what price do i have here uh 19 4000 so that's here energy cores also sold 1427 shell dream talking uh 1000 for 220 so it's this ultimate embers for 17 and divinity stones 10000 for 240 yeah so everything sells and here are the items that i sold during the making of this video i've dropped one got footsteps and the rest of these 
like if you use the loot filter that I showed you in, in the last video almost everything that you drop will have some value I actually uh, uh, bought some corrupting materials just to be able to corrupt some of the uniques so yeah so these are the results for my strategy just for you guys to see that it that farming deep space actually works and you can make decent results with it and this is lowballing the strategy because this is with no special drops included so this i would consider this to be the bare minimum because if you manage to fail like 25 percent of the machines you go you are losing a lot a lot and i still managed to get almost 1500 per hour so yeah that's it for this strategy guys all the information is in the sheet i will link it in the description below if you find this video helpful please give it a like send it to your friends i mean this is the strategy that we run i'm not telling you to run it but i definitely think that everyone should give it a try thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video bye A powerful opponent. <laughs> Shame that they're a little dumb. Sun that never sets. Desire brings to sometimes fantasies do come true. To gain more, you must first sacrifice more. <laughs> this was also in my plan. The, the cowardly worshipped his gods. Henceforth, but they're a little dumb. The code will not desire brings to sometimes fantasies do come true. To gain more, you must first sacrifice more. The code will record this debt for you. Desire brings to sometimes fantasies do come true. The code will record that sometimes fantasies do come true. To gain more, the code will record this debt for you. The code will record the code will record this the code will record this debt for you. Desire brings destruction, yet deep to gain more, you must first sacrifice more. Desire brings destruction, the code will not let your efforts go in vain. But they're a little dumb. Desire brings dis- The code will not let your effort to gain more. Sometimes fantasies do come- The code will record this death for you. The code will record this death for you.